What's good, YouTube? Because of Kobe here. So, we are diving into another one from the Angels from Darren's List. This one is called Long Night. Excited for one from the Angels always. You guys know the Angels are one of our favorites on the channel. You never know what you're going to get from them musically. They're super diverse. They go into any and every topic lyrically. You never know what to expect there either. I appreciate all of you guys supporting. If you're new here, go ahead and subscribe for me. We talk about mental health, addiction, world issues, everything in between break down all these lyrics the instrumentations of the song it's a great time it's positive vibes thank you guys for building a community with me where we can give each other some advice on mental health and addiction and if somebody is struggling with a problem they can reach out and get some solid advice from people who have been through things in life and who have had the experience to be able to provide that advice to people who might feel like they're a little bit lost and don't know what to do with themselves. Everybody goes through those things in life, in life and those are struggles that we have to deal with and learn how to cope with and get through. And sometimes a piece of advice from a stranger can go a long way. I've received many pieces of advice from strangers and people that I've never met in real life that have gone a long, long way. I've gotten some very helpful advice from people that I've never even met in person. So it's very important that we have places like this where people can come for advice and seek some knowledge and some help. And we can also point them in the right direction to go get help in real time, in real life as well. It's very important that we get the help that we need in real life as well as reaching out to people for advice that also understand the struggle. So I appreciate you guys tuning in. We're going to get into this one for you. I'm Vikasa Kavi, a reaction video a day or two. Keep the doctor away. Fuck those apples. This is the Angels Long Night. Mm. Got like a classic rock with this one. Yeah. get into this right here i love the vibe the guitar riff with those power chords and then those notes at the end the bono 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 very nice right there i like that that note section is in the end there it adds a lot of character to that guitar riff right there doc attacking it solidly with his vocals as always following that guitar very well and a nice build up here into this chorus section that we're about to get into i'm really enjoying this so far the verse here the first verse before this build up was came home from her private doctor disconnected the telephone eyes ablaze like the northern lights so strung out there was no one home damn he said, he said, them eyes have gone beyond the shades of red and bloodshot. There's the northern lights going on inside of them. <laughs> so strung out, there was no one home. Wow. White line on the burning road, rolling high, collecting maps. Wow. Shades her eyes, a classic disguise. Ooh, shades her eyes, a classic disguise. And then he rolls his R here. I like that little rendezvous that he hit us with there. That was very nice. He said rendezvous. Then she loves and laughs. Mmm. Saying she looked like hell. She strung out. Her eyes are like beyond bloodshot. Came home from her private doctor. Disconnected the telephone. Private doctor. Right. You guys know. I don't have to break that one down for you. It's very apparent which doctor she was visiting in this instance. Said, Rolling high, collecting maps, shades her eyes, a classic disguise, covering up those drug marks, that drug use that shows on the face, obviously, whenever a person is using drugs, covering up those blackened bags under the eyes that drug addicts are classically known for. 
rendezvous than she loves and laughs, right? Saying, we going to meet up. I'm coming out on the town. I'm flying high, right? Rolling high tonight she is in this story. She put on her disguise, got all prettied up and dolled up, covered up all of the destruction that you would see otherwise, and goes to the rendezvous, loving and laughing, acting like nothing's wrong. That is the very common story of addiction, right? It seems people who are addicted to things are very good at acting like they're all right in social situations most of the time, like... A lot of the time, you wouldn't even think, right? Aside from maybe looking in the eyes and seeing, like, how fucked up they were and stuff like that. Aside from that, you really can't tell in a lot of instances, right? They, It can be composed very well, even in a severe addiction. A person can still manage to function and stuff sometimes. The functioning addiction, functioning addicts are the very dangerous kind because it's the hardest ones to convince that they have a problem is whenever they're still just living life and wilding out on the drugs or the alcohol, whatever their poison is, you know, and it just seems like it's not a problem sometimes until it becomes a very severe one out of nowhere and then it just continually worsens and worsens and worsens until you end up in her situation where to even leave the house, she's shading her eyes and making a disguise because she doesn't want people to see what it actually looks like behind the closed door, right? Man, no one home, right? No one home in the form of being strung out, but no one home in the sense of being behind the doors alone, not worrying about anybody seeing her as well. Nice right here. I like these lyrics so far. Good storytelling by the angels. Shades her eyes, a classic disguise. Rendezvous, then she loves and laughs. She's got a oh, yeah. long night, long night, yeah. long night coming up tonight. Yes, it's a long night, yeah. long night, long, long night coming up tonight. Long Couple and moon of a silver road. Hey. To come to you to make a crystal run. If Whoa. it's all I do to see me get through, she promises. gonna be a long night it's gonna be a long few days if that's what she's doing right it's gonna be a while <laughs> oh boy yes 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 i love the storytelling like i said their storytelling is so creative they can take any topic and turn it into a raging pit of metaphors that are brilliant descriptors. I love it. I love the storytelling. I like the way that the word selection, you guys know, I like that they pick uncommon scenarios that get used in lyrics. Like you get a lot of like lyrics that are kind of like repeats of each other and stuff like that inside of music. When it comes to the angels, they just say stuff that I haven't heard other people say. They tell stories that I haven't heard any other artists try to tell in the manner that they're told. They're just very unique lyrically. I love the storytelling fashion that they write their lyrics in. It's a cowboy moon over silver road. That is a hell of a line right there. Like, see what I mean? Cowboy moon over silver road. That is beautiful right there. What a descriptor. Time comes due to make her crystallize. Oh, word. <laughs> man, oh man. If it's all I do, just let me get through. She promised herself this would be the last one. That is all too common. The promise of this is the last time. And then they wake up and do it all again. I know that struggle all too well. I've been through that struggle myself. Now, this is the last time. I said that about a thousand times before it actually was, right? Just repeating it over and over to yourself, and you, uh, you just keep going for some reason whenever you're that deep into an addiction. 
It's unfortunate, but you can pull yourself out of it. You gotta work like hell at it, and it takes a lot of effort on your part to not cave into those things and all of the thoughts that will come into your head, all of the the fucking cons of your brain, right? <laughs> the darker parts of your brain, the parts of your brain that don't want you to succeed, those little voices that like to talk and tell you to do the things that you know will not lead to your ultimate success or your ultimate benefit, you got to learn to push those voices away because you know what you need to do to have the best life for yourself. You know what you want in your heart and substances will prevent you from properly chasing those things and properly going after those things. So I think it's important that we push those thoughts into the back of our mind and learn how to let them exist because they will exist, but don't let them be the focus of your action. You know, that's the important part of it. Do not let them be the focus of your action moving forward in your life. Take new action, do new things, find new ways to spend the time, grab a hold of some new hobbies for yourself, learn some things about the world, go see some things, have fun. You're alive now. You don't have something killing you anymore. Go enjoy it. That's my best advice to people who are coming into their sobriety. Go enjoy yourself, man. Have some fun. Go see the world through new eyes. You deserve it. You've been through a lot, right? I love you guys, dude. Seriously, I love you guys a lot. Thank you for everything. Since she promised herself this would be the last one. It's all in your head, the doctor said, and she knew he was right. That's what we were just talking about. She was in need of a little more speed. She had a long night coming up tonight. Like I said, that ain't gonna be a long night tonight. That's gonna be tomorrow night and possibly the night after that as well with the days in between. <laughs> right? It's gonna be a long time for you. I've heard some outrageous tales of sleep deprivation when it comes to this specific one right here, you know. Some of them are unbelievable. It's just, how the fuck did you not die from that long? Like, weeks? Right? <laughs> weeks? <laughs> it's crazy to think about. The body is a very resistant fucking thing, ain't it? It really is. The body can survive the most menacing things. It's unbelievable the level of resiliency and ability to bounce back that the human body has, right? Like, doctors will tell you that it's much harder to kill a human body than it is to keep, than it is to, like, it's much harder to kill a human... How how am I trying to word this? I want to word it right for you. It's harder to kill a human body <clears throat> than it is to, like... How am I trying to word this? You guys know what I'm getting at here. I know you guys know what I'm getting at. It's very hard to kill a human body, but it's also very easy to put yourself in situations that can get you killed with your brain. That's how I was trying to say it. Yeah, you can put yourself in situations that will make it very easy to be endangered and get yourselves killed. I was putting that together in my head. Sorry about the delay there. It's easy to put yourself in those situations, but it's even harder to actually get killed by them, which means now you're just going to have to fucking endure the pain and suffering of it. So why would you put yourself there? Because odds are you probably will survive, actually, right? Like it, the human body has a crazy ability to bounce back. It's not easy to actually take a human body out, per se, right? <laughs> People have survived some crazy, like those people that survive falls from like 20 stories just because of physics and landing and stuff like that. Like the one guy fell, a scaffold fell, a window cleaner fell like super far. It was really fucking far and they survived because of like the gravity of the situation quite literally. Just the way the scaffold was falling and the way that they were positioned and everything Cause the landing to not be a splat, right? And more so of like a bounce around where you get jostled and fuck yourself up a bit, quite a bit. But see, humans can survive a lot of things. 
it took me a it took me a second to figure out how I wanted to word that point to you guys. But yeah, stuff like this. It, it's really easy to put yourself in situations that could kill you, but the human body will just refuse to fucking give up. Like, I know that from experience with my own alcoholism, like not eating for 10 days in a row, not being able to eat for 10 days in a row, and barely being able to keep liquid down because I was so sick from the alcohol. My body didn't even want to keep alcohol down anymore. It was at that point, like it was just nothing. There was nothing that my body wanted at that point. It just was shutting down on itself. And I could tell you, when I came out of that and was able to just walk like a normal human again afterwards, it was very slightly confusing to me. I was like, ain't no way, bro. Like, ain't no way. <laughs> I am just walking normal, right? <laughs> a mere weeks later and feeling better eating every day, happy, getting happier, right? I was, it was so wild to me for that first month. I was like, what the fuck? How did I bounce back from that? How did I even survive? That's what goes on with, with this specific drug that the that this one is about, man. No, it's a terror. <laughs> Paranoia out the wazoo, and that is straight from sleep deprivation, essentially, byproduct of extreme sleep deprivation it turns into fucking temporary psychosis and paranoia some crazy shit man <sighs> crazy crazy shit man i really hope that any of you who are struggling if you guys are currently struggling <coughs> with your substance abuse and it's an active thing for anyone that's watching these videos I want you guys to really work at pulling yourselves out of that seriously. It can be done. I'm living proof of it. I get on here and talk to you guys about it every day because I want to inspire people to go and do the same thing that I did for myself whenever I quit drinking and whenever I quit doing the drugs that I was doing. I want the same thing for everybody else, anybody that's watching this that is currently struggling. I'm here for you, and there are plenty of other people on the channel that are here for you. I know that you know that, but I always like to stress the point that we are here for you, and we will be here to encourage you to go get the help that you need. It's what it's all about on here. It's all about going and getting the help that you need, reaching out to people and not feeling scared. It's about building a place where we can really address these issues with each other and not feel uncomfortable inside of doing it. It's a very difficult topic to talk about. It's hard to open up about it. it there's a lot of shame and embarrassment involved. It's understandable. It is a poor decision that you have made to become addicted to something, and that's all there is to it. It's a very poor life decision, and now you're going to have to pull yourself out of that and hold yourself back up again, hold yourself accountable for the mistakes that you made, and go be a better person and build a better life for yourself and prove to everybody that you were meant to have that inside of your life and you weren't meant to be that destructive, lost person that you had turned into from the substances. I really believe we all have that in us, so please, any of you who are currently still struggling, go get the help that you need before... It gets too deep for you. If you're thinking about needing help, it already is too deep and you need to go get it right now. And that's all there is to it. I put it as bluntly and honestly as possible. Go get the help that you need because you're already in too deep if you've thought it. So please go get that help. Long night.
guitar riff got me air guitar and along to it and singing it to myself. I like that guitar riff a whole lot. It's one of my favorite ones that we've had from the Angels guitar riff wise. That's a fun guitar riff. The topic of this man, just about a girl struggling with her addictions, trying to get help from a doctor. Also going to see her own private doctor, right? Her own doctor that she uses, but also seeking the professional help as well inside of this song. As I said, you guys should do if you are currently actively struggling with those things. Please seek help. It's the only thing you can do. It's the best way to pull yourself out of it. There's plenty of people that know what they're doing when it comes to helping people out of that professionally. And they are more than willing to give you a new life and bless you with an opportunity to have a better life for yourself. So please, please don't let yourself stay there. Don't get stuck inside of there. You deserve so much more. We all deserve to have the best life that we can have and to live out our dreams in the best way possible with the most capability possible so that we can really do it the right way and fucking build something special when something that's important to people inside of our lives, something that benefits people inside of our lives instead of fading away and being depressed and being dragged down all the time, you know? You guys can do so much more with yourselves than that if you are currently in an active addiction. You can be so much more. I know it's hard. I know the emotions behind it are so tough to get through, but... If you get through them, you can have so much better of a life, I promise you. It will get so much better. You just have to believe in it and believe in yourself and believe in the people that tell you that you're worth something. And be believe that you can give the world something beautiful. I mean it. Believe in yourselves. Please, you got this. You fucking got this. I promise. You can do it. Man, this is a deep song right here. Amazing descriptors. The topic obviously gets me talking because it's a very personally relatable topic for me. And the storytelling in this immaculate as always. Incredible song by the angels here. Darren, thank you, my friend. Original video will be in the description as always. Subscribe to the angels. Support all the artists we have on the channel. That's what we do this for. Get this music out into the world. Relate it to our own lives. Discuss these lyrics build a community here where we can be here for each other and provide some advice. It's a very beautiful thing that we got going on on here. And I'm so grateful to be here doing this for you guys. It means the whole world to me to be able to get on here and provide some life advice for you guys and to break down some amazing song lyrics and jam out to some music together and spread some positivity. It's the most important thing in the world to me at this point in my life. And it means everything to have a solid group of people like all of you to do this with so thank you guys so much for being here and thank you for building this with me we're gonna get out of here on vacasa coffee a reaction video a day or two keep the doctor away fuck those apples leave a like for me comment those suggestions subscribe up this way bang the notification bell for me i'll see you guys in the next ones i love you so much have a beautiful one thanks for everything Peace.